All right, I'm going to unbox the latest arrival from Hobby King. It's nothing more than a couple sets of green and black props and a Bluetooth card for the mobile. Now, for some reason, they sent me a lithium ion battery thing. I don't know why. Okay, there's the props. Well, they sent me some weird stuff. And there's the Bluetooth module, props and Bluetooth module. Um, I have no idea why they sent me battery warnings. But, that's the unboxing. I see the props, they're pretty nice. Just like the ones I got right now. There's the Bluetooth module. Hooks up to uh, the pins on my the, the pins that I installed on my car. So I'll be putting that in a little while. Oh. All right, I hooked up. I hooked up a uh, Bluetooth module. That's it right there, blinking to my uh, multi Wii flight controller and. Uh, how you hook it up is the wires. Uh, you have to have these pins in your board. They don't. The board doesn't come with them, so you got you got to put them in. Uh, and what you do is you take your RX goes to your TX, and your TX goes to your RX. You just reverse the two functions and plug them in and reverse. Other than, let's say it's TX down here, so you put it in the RX over here. You know, same thing. Then, then you got your uh, hot wire right there, and then the ground. You skip a pin for some reason. There's a blank pin in there between ground and hot. But anyway, it's hooked up. It's blinking. I've had it on already, but I want to shoot a little video about how you connect. Hopefully, it'll connect this time. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't. I don't know why. It's a little disappointing at times. So, uh, anyway, you got to go to. Now I got these apps on here. One's called uh, Multi Wii Easy GUI. We're gonna use that for now. All right, going back to where I was. Here's the annoying noise this thing makes when the uh, Jeep, when the Bluetooth is hooked up, and also the red light. Let me turn that down. It's driving me nuts. The red light comes on, stays solid when you're hooked. It says connected right down there at the bottom. So I'm all connected. Now this thing gives you some features called dashboards. Gives you a dashboard. Literally, it shows you all your uh, active modes, and uh, I think that one's the uh, compass. Let me let me flip it this way. Probably look better. Oh yeah. So you got your compass. I set the picture thing. I'm not sure what those are. 2.0 and 1.0. I'm not. I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to look this up and figure out what it is. I, I really am not sure. But anyway, it's got your modes. It's got your modes over there on the left. Uh, let me see what else can I come up with here. Let's hit back. That's the one dashboard. Here's another dashboard. That gives you all kinds of readouts. Uh, let me see. We got uh, satellite six. I actually I'm hooked up to six satellites right now. Distance to home, direction to home, speed. Well, according to this, I'm going 36 centimeters a second right now. I don't know how, but... Okay, it's got that. Altitude, longitude, latitude. Angle mag, head freeze while I'm in. Battery. Uh, power sun. Power, I don't know. Power trigger. I don't even know what some of this stuff is. Vertical speed, L2, roll, pitch, azimuth. Well, anyway, that's everything on that dashboard. Go on to the next. Dashboard 3, you got to buy. It's got a radio. I haven't figured out exactly what you do with that yet. Oh, here's something cool the map. Oh my god. I'm doing my best to hit the button and I can't, my fingers aren't swinging it here. There, the map. 
It actually shows me sitting in Toledo, Ohio right there. <laughs> so let me zoom in a little bit. Oh yeah, right. My fingers suck. There, zoom in on Toledo. This will actually show me where the copter is in the world. I can't get it to work because it's too hard to do with the camera in my hand. But anyway, I can zoom it all the way right up into my house practically. So, satellite map works good. Got GPS info. Now this is really cool. Let me let me switch it on. Let me switch it on. Okay. GPS info. It comes up with all kinds of neat info on it. GPS signals, okay, it'll tell you. Um, down there under Android, I don't know why it's not coming up right now, but earlier under geomagnetic field and solar x-ray there was a storm and a flare, an M-class solar flare. I got no info at all right now and I don't know why. But anyway, that's fine. Not doing me much good, but anyway, it goes on and on. You can set your PIDs. That's really why I got. It. I'm gonna fine tune my PIDs with this. There's my settings right now. It comes up with whatever's on there. That's my throttle expo, my RC expo, all that crap. I mean, you can you can literally change this stuff practically on the fly. That's what's cool about it. Okay, that was my PID settings. You can you can set up your Oops, I didn't want to do that. You can set up your aux switch and all your settings. Oops, I don't want that. I don't even have those. Anyway, let's go back <laughs> before I mess it up totally. You can calibrate AC cal ACC calibration, mag calibration, and factory reset. None of which I want to do right now. Nav settings you got to buy. Vario sound on and off you got to buy. Uh, miscellaneous you gotta buy it kind of sucks but yeah, now that I now that I finally got it working uh, I wanted to show this uh, solar flare thing geomagnetic field quiet uh, solar x-ray m-class flare so I'm imagining uh, it's not messing with the GPS too much seeing as how I got uh, Seven satellites sitting here here in my room it says GPS signal okay, so I could go fly a mission on this thing right now Well installation of this thing was simple like the other things I have in here. I just taped it in a uh, little bit of electrical tape holds my accessories in this is uh, my capacitor and my uh, My U back right there, and then I got my receiver right here and then on top of the receiver now I got the Bluetooth so and hopefully none of these power wires are going to interfere with anything and that's it